I'm going to present very briefly the main results of the strings project, which is a project in which we have been analyzing the alignment or misalignment between science, technology and innovations and the sustainable development goals. In order to explore this very complex question, we use three different levels of analysis. At the first level, we analyze publications from the Web of Science patents from PATSTAT in order to map what are the priorities across the globe of science technology innovation and how they are related to the sustainable development goals. Second, uh, we run a global survey with different stakeholders which tell us what they think are the main priorities in order to achieve this development goals in 2030. Third, we do contextualized case studies in order to appraise different pathways to address very specific challenges in those contexts. So the first main finding is that we do observe a substantial misalignment between priorities in science technology innovations in private and public R&D companies, particularly in higher income countries, and the sustainable development goals. Meaning that in those countries, most of the research is not related to the sustainable development goals. However, in low income countries, it is. But lower income countries participate to mostly 0.2% of the global research. So the global research is not aligned to the SDGs. Second main finding is that research is done in silos with respect to the SDGs, meaning that research which focuses on one specific SDG is not uh, connected enough to research which reflects on other, which, which focuses on other SDGs. And this is particularly when we look at the distinction between research which look at technical issues and more societal deep-seated issues such as inequality, poverty, gender imbalances and conflict. Third main result is that the current priorities in STI do not align with the stakeholders' priorities of STIs in order to address the SDGs by 2030, which do recommend to focus much more on policy innovation, social innovation and grassroots innovation. Fourth, there is a clear misalignment between the specialization of research in different countries and what is the priorities in terms of SDGs in different countries. So for example, countries that pollute most, that have many issues in relation to SDG 12, 13 and 14, such as higher income countries, do not specialize in research on the environment. Fifth, and particularly problematic, there seems to be, in every local context, to address a specific challenge, one particular science technology innovation pathway which dominates every other pathway. And this is the case even when local actors indicate that alternative pathways may better address the particular SDG challenge. Four areas of recommendation. First area of recommendation, uh, we do need national and global funders to focus more on research which is related to the SDGs. This needs a better and more inclusion of researchers in low-income countries where the research is much more aligned with the SDGs. Second, we need to aim for uh, much more diversity of direction of STI in specific local context and the much more democratic decision making about which directions are taking in those contexts in order to address the SDGs in a way which address the issues of all stakeholders. Third, we need accountable governance initiatives to better monitor and make decisions about which science and technology innovations are prioritized at national, local and global level in relation to the SDGs. Fourth, we need to empower different stakeholders to understand what are the priorities in science, technology and innovation, the way in which, for example, they're mapped in this exercise, and make decisions about which should be the investment in science, technology innovation moving forward.